The city of Mount Isa in northwest Queensland is probably best known for its mining, but right now it's also humming with song and dance. The Mount Isa of Steadford is celebrating 50 years. Emma Silicons went backstage for a look. Skylar Corliss just wants to dance. I love to dance because you can express things and dance in another way. The 10-year-old, who lives on a cattle property hours away from the mining city, has been preparing for months. I love seeing how far my mum is so to do it and I love to achieve something. She's joining more than 800 young performers from across the region, showing off their talents to help celebrate the Mount Isa of Steadford's 50th year. People have come from uh, the coast and from cattle stations around Mount Isa. Um, people have travelled 10 hours to get here. For those living too far away to make it on stage, speech and drama can be delivered over the airwaves, school of the air style. The eager stock horse pricks his ears and lifts his head on high in wild excitement when he hears the Bumby mob go by. It is an opportunity to perform and they have fun at the same time. After 50 years, Mount Isa's of Stedford is still going strong and it's been the training ground for some of Australia's top performers. We've actually had one of our well-known Indigenous actors, Deborah Malman, who was born and bred in Mount Isa, uh, perform at the 1983 Stedford. After another year of hard work and award-winning performances, the future looks bright for more stars in the making. Emma Silicons, ABC News, Mount Isa.